How's it going, Mission Makers? Hopefully everyone is getting ready for spring and staying warm in the meantime. And as we get help you get ready, we wanted to do a bit of a refresher on player response challenges. We've been slowly incorporating this challenge type back into our Mission Maker, and we're still receiving some questions which we wanted to cover in this revised version of our player response guide. To create a player response challenge, it's just like creating any other challenge type and you can select it from the drop down menu when you're building a new challenge from scratch. The player response is an open ended question that guests can answer in their own words and you can either make a text based response question that asks the guest to write an answer or you can create a photo based response question which will prompt them to submit a unique photo instead. After the guests have typed the response or submitted their photo, the challenge is automatically considered completed. There's no right or wrong way to answer a player response, so you, as the mission manager, are encouraged to view and evaluate these responses subjectively. If your license is at the silver level or higher, you can view the unique responses players have submitted on your statistics page. Select the mission you want under individual mission statistics, then scroll down to the player statistics panel and next to each of your player response challenges, you'll see a view responses button to see the unique answers or photos that players have submitted. Now we're gonna show you some examples of how you can utilize these challenges in your public missions. One of the most amazing comprehensive missions we've seen involving player response challenges take place in the form of scavenger hunts. If there's a lot of nature in your particular public space, for example, you could make a mission about invasive species and construct a series of photo-based player response challenges, instructing guests to take some pictures of some of the invasive species that are dominant in the area. Botanic gardens and public parks can also choose to feature some of their amazing flowers and decorations in this way if they want. Another great usage of the photo player response challenges are to get players involved in creating things. If you have any winter theme missions, for example, you can instruct your guests to build a snowman and submit a photo of them to complete the challenge. Encourage your guests to use things in the nearby environment for their masterpiece with respect to the surrounding area and wildlife, of course. Now, another great usage of the player response system comes in the form of survey questions. Some clients will place a player response challenge at the end of their mission to ask a guest for feedback or to reflect on the things they learn. The more specific your questions, the more diverse and valuable your feedback will be. Um, some great prompts include, what was the most important thing you learned during your visit? How will you remember this hike? You could get a little bit more specific and say maybe name an invasive or endangered species that lives near you. Um, and for challenges themed around the environment, you could say something like, what are some things you can do to reduce, reuse, and recycle? Or if you're a national monument or a historic site, a great question could be, try to describe what this spot might have looked like 200 years ago, or how these people might have lived in this setting. Player responses are a great way to encourage reflection and critical thinking without a rigid point system. You can also encourage some competition amongst the different submissions and expand your prizes system to include rewards for the best player response submission of the month, just as an example. That's all for now, but we'll be back again in March and you know we're gonna have even more cool stuff to share with you then. It was just so fun and I hope to do this again.